You need to hear this huge secret that the credit bureaus do not want you to know. Today we're going to talk about reinsertion. Now what is reinsertion? When you're going through the, through the dispute process with the credit bureaus, then you know you get a deletion, an item gets deleted, and then magically it just pops back up, right? Maybe like 60 or 90 days after the deletion. I'm going to teach you the steps that you need to go to help prevent reinsertion and if something does get reinserted, how to handle it with the credit bureaus. All right, so when you're going through the credit repair process and you're working on your credit, this is a very important key that you need to be focused on. You need to make sure that your address and your phone number and your email address is updated with all three credit reporting agencies. That is Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion. You do not ever want them to have an excuse to say, oh, well, I'm sorry, we just used this address that we had on file. This is why it's very important that you update this, update this information directly with the bureaus. Now you can go into Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion, their actual website directly on their site and update this information with them on the site, okay? Um, this is a very simple process or you can send them a letter stating this is my correct address, my phone number, and my email address. Keep that letter on file at all times whenever you're in the disputing process and make sure you send it certified mail if you go through the whole process of sending it snail mail as I like to call it, okay? But it can be a waste of time. So you can go online and this is one of the things that you should do online with each individual credit reporting agency which is Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion. Do not skip this part because it's very key in the disputing process when you're going up against the credit bureaus. Any time that you're working on your credit, this is the other very important part, okay? When you're working on your credit and you get a deletion from the credit bureaus, you want confirmation. And this is very important. This is why your address needs to be correct. Now listen, there's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna say, oh, I don't want them to have my address. They're never gonna have my address. I'm gonna give them a PO box. Why would you make it even harder to go through the process? Because if this goes awry, they can use the excuse that they did not have the proper address on file or the proper email address on file. Always keep it the same all the way across the board with all of them so they can never use this. Now, when you get a deletion in the mail, it's usually going to be from Experian, Equifax, or TransUnion. It's going to be like a bunch of papers like, oh, shit, I got some deletions. Okay? <laughs> this is very important. This piece of paper, normally people get it they're like, oh, cool, I got some deletions. And they throw it in the trash. Do not throw it in the trash. That piece of paper is the most valuable piece of paper you're ever going to have because... It is proof that they sent you a letter confirming that the item was deleted. This is your nail in the coffin if they ever go a different path or they reinsert something. But I'm going to cover some other issues that you need to know about when you're working on your credit that a lot of people do not understand and nobody in this industry talks about it because they just don't know what they're doing. All right. Every year in the beginning of the year in January, the CFPB drops a report on all the issues and all the complaints that they've had against the credit reporting agencies, Experian, Equifax, Equifax, and TransUnion. Okay, in that report, they clearly stated that there was a lot of issues with the credit credit uh, reporting agencies using more automation. Now, the credit bureaus try to say it's helping consumers, but it's really not. So understand that the credit bureaus are always not on your side. So you need to be proactive and understanding that and one of the biggest things that they said in that report for 2022 and 2021 was that the credit bureaus were taking much more time to, to file an investigation. They were taking up to 60 days, okay? So some people freak out like, they didn't respond. They need to delete it. You know, they're not going to delete anything in 30 days if they didn't respond. They do technically have up to 60 days. The crazy thing about it is there's no way to hold their hand to the fire if they go past that that 45 or 60 day window but understanding that they have been using up to 60 days i'm going to try to put up this this um report up on the screen so you can see it where they clearly stated that they were taking up to 60 days for rounds of disputes what happens with some of our clients is our clients don't get great results in you know 30 or 60 days and then like in the third between the third and the sixth round it starts to heat up and this is the reason why, because they're taking more time and consumers don't understand that because everyone on social media is like, if they don't respond in 30 days, they must delete. 
It's not it's not going to happen like that. The report clearly stated that this was an issue and the credit reporting agencies admitted to it. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button so that way you know every time we drop new content, we drop shorts, we drop we drop full length videos, okay? That way you always know what's going on on our channel, okay? Now, also, if you're looking to work on your credit, I'm going to give you as many tips and tricks as I possibly can. But at the end of the day, we do offer full service credit repair. Um, we created one of the most advanced DIY programs in the industry. Okay. Um, my, my trusted links will always be in the description and sometimes I will drop them in the comments, but I'll always drop our trusted links in the description and sometimes in the comments you'll see. Okay. Um, we created the most advanced DIY program. It's $50 a month. We create the letters for you custom made Metro two letters, and then we email them to you, you print them and you mail them out and you're done. No more modules, no, no more any of that nonsense. We also have a full service Metro two program and we have a pre litigation program that is designed to sue. We work with some of the largest legal teams in the United States that cover over 50 states. We're proud to be able to say that it's amazing. Okay. Um, and we do have an identity theft program that hasn't gone live yet, but if you're a true victim of identity theft, we do have a program for that. Um, understand that we're not one of those companies that files fake police reports. Okay. We don't do that. We don't tolerate it. We are talking about people that really truly had their identity stolen. We have a program that is designed to help those people because at the end of the day, just sending a police report is not going to get you the outcome that's needed and you need to get a legal team involved. So we have a legal team that takes on identity theft cases because of these specific reasons. Okay. Also, if you haven't already hit that bell notification, so you find out every time that I go live, when I drop new content, you're always going to hear about it first because you just never know when I'm going to show up and always remember last part's the most important. All right. So let's talk about the different types of deletions because we covered all the things that you need to do to kind of prepare yourself so you don't fall for any traps. Okay. Now let's talk about the different types of deletions that can possibly happen. Now, when an item goes into a true investigation, the items actually actually supposed to be temporarily removed from your credit report, but that never happens. Okay. It's not uncommon for that not to happen. Now, sometimes it does happen and it's pulled off your credit report. So people think it's an immediate deletion. Like, Oh my God, it got deleted in like a week. Now it can be a true deletion or it can be pulled off of your credit report because it's under investigation. As you saw earlier, they have up to potentially 60 days to investigate this. So what can happen is the item got deleted because it was under investigation. And then later magically it popped back on. It didn't magically pop back on. If it was a true deletion, the credit bureaus will send you a notice in the mail, letting you know if the item was deleted from your credit reports, or you can get an email. This is why it's important that your, your address be on point and your email. So they have two ways to contact you. Now, if it is deleted, they should send you a notice. That does not mean that they will always send you a notice because if you haven't learned anything from being in this credit game, the credit bureaus are not sticking to the script. They don't follow protocols like they're supposed to. They never do everything to a T. So you could get a deletion and then it's, it's permanently gone, but you got no letter in the mail. That letter in the mail is gold to you because if this was a true deletion and they, they sent you a letter stating that and they reinserted, they have a big problem. Okay. Because there's rules and regulations to reinsertion onto credit reports once an item is deleted, but a soft deletion is very common. And a lot of consumers don't understand that. All right. I'm going to put it up on the screen. This is the requirements relating to reinsertion of previously deleted material from your credit reports from Cornell law school. Okay. Now, it's very important that you understand that if any information is deleted from a consumer files pursuant of sub paragraph a, the information may not be reinserted in the file by the consumer reporting agency, unless the person who furnishes the information certifies that the information is complete and accurate. Okay. Now, not only do they say they can reinsert, but there's rules. Okay. There's rules of what they can do and what they can't do. Now, if they reinsert, Okay. They have to by law notify you within five days of reinsertion. Okay. Now let's read this part from Cornell law also. Okay. Notice to, to consumer. If any information that has been deleted from a consumer's file 
pursuant of subcredit right, is reinserted in the file, the consumer reporting agency shall notify the consumer of the reinsertion in writing not later than five business days after the reinsertion. So if the item was deleted and they reinserted it, they have five days to notify you. If they don't, it's a lawsuit. You can file a, a lawsuit against them in your local um, small claims court, or you can go get a consumer law attorney that will take on your case as a contingency. It is a, a huge lawsuit, and they don't want anything, anything to do with this, but it does happen a lot. So that's why it's important. Update your, your address with the credit bureaus, your phone number, and your email, and then they can never say that they never contacted you. And not only file a lawsuit, but before you file a lawsuit, you want to file a complaint with the CFPB. You just go on their website at CFPB.com and go to the FTC website and also file a complaint against the creditor or the debt collector. Make sure you do that before you even go into the legal route. That way you can see that if the CFPB doesn't step in to help you and get this item resolved, or then you go to the FTC. But you really want to do them both at the same time. So you file a complaint with the FTC and with the CFPB. And if they don't do anything to help you, that's when you can go to your local courthouse and file a small claims against the credit bureaus. And you could sue them on your own if you want to. Uh, I don't ever recommend you know you representing yourself on your own unless you're savvy like that. And this is not legal advice, okay? But also you can find a consumer law attorney once you've done all these steps and you know for a fact that, okay, this has been reinserted illegally. Let's go get them. Always remember, subscribe to increase your credit score.